Yellow. Yellow. It's Kira here. Someone was complaining in uh, the comments thread on one of these videos uh, that I shout everything and they would be correct. So apologies because my voice is ridiculously loud. I'm even trying to keep it a little quiet right now, but it will, once I'm into the video and I'm not thinking about it anymore, it's going to slip my mind and I'm going to be loud as hell. So apologies. Turn it down a little bit. Um, today I'm reacting to Can You Beat Skyblock Without the Start Chest by Martin Cito Pants. So I got a note from the person who produces all of these that this is the second uh, part of the one that I watched last week by Martin Cito Pants where he and his dumbass friends, that's what he, his words, not mine, idiot friends, something like that. Uh, we're basically trying to get through a super hardcore version of um, Skyblock. Uh, why can't I remember the damn name? And I want to be saying Roblox again, which is what I did in the last one. Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft. I know. I know, you guys. It's really shameful. Um, anyway, uh, that they were trying to, uh, they, they had certain goals that they needed to fulfill on um, without dying a single time, which they epically failed. So, and then Martin ended up on some island in the sky alone. I wasn't really sure how he was going to get out of that situation, but I think you can just build stairs, right? You probably need material. He probably didn't have it. So, that's what I heard. I heard it was the second half to that. I could be wrong. I might not be making any level of sense right now for, to some of you. So apologies if that's the case, but let's check it out. Let's see how he gets off that island in the sky. I'm an idiot. Apologies for my idiocy. Okay, here we go. Oh, and here we go. Oh, look at that. Hello again. I have a question for you. Okay. Can you beat Skyblock with one tree? No chest, no water, no cobblestone generator. Huh? This was the quagmire I found myself in a few weeks ago. You see, last video, I'd been having a wonderful, wonderful time with my friends. Where if any of us died, then we deleted the world and reset. And reset. After Which I did learn later from all of you guys in the, in the comments that basically Minecraft generates these worlds every single time you start newly, which I think is just outrageous. Um... So many, so many different worlds uh, that, I mean, I, I can't even imagine, can't even imagine how many. 30 recess, we reached the end where I was knocked into the air and killed by the dragon. Except I wasn't. A portal opened up beneath me and sent me here. To get back, all I have to do is beat Skyblock with one tree. And like before, if I die, the world resets. And so what happened to his friends? Do his friends like know where he's at? Uh, I mean, does he still have the ability to talk to them like he was before? We'll see. Maybe my questions will be answered. So, let us begin. First things first, tree time. Now, you might be wondering how I go about beating the game with this. Well, that's a great question. Technically, all we need are ender eyes. Then we can find the portal, open it, and kill the dragon. Ender pearls are easy enough to obtain. But blaze powder is fucked. We need blaze rods, which drop some blazes, which only spawn on the nether, so we need to make a portal, which needs lava, so we need to make a lava farm, and it needs water, so we need to Basically, it's a very long process, and it all begins with wood. With this wood, we need to build this, and then we need to wait for the sun to do this, and now we just need to kill a few skeletons. Um, okay. What just happened? Is he sleeping? <clears throat> Well, let's try that again. Cut down the tree, get a bit of wood, stick down the saplings, wait a few minutes, cut down more trees, plant more saplings, get more wood, build more platforms. Oh, um, he can... Jesus. Uh, how many years is it taking him to do this? Oh, yes. That's I mean, right. not real oh, years, oh, but... It's been over a year since the last guy burst onto the scene. I thought I put him away with a few 50 cow and eagle rounds for the skull, but that just pissed him off. And now, he's back for blood. He wants to enter your walls? No. He wants to enter your skin. He wants to climb into your blood vessels. He is charging up the death laser. Oh, God. Oh, That's a pretty cute little California. stuffy. Wait a minute. Disneyland. Oh, God. The children. Oh, God. 
Oh, wow. Do not lose sight of him. He is wearing camouflage. Whoops, I just lost sight of him. Oh god, where did he go? Ah! Once again, makeshift gets it done with the highest quality. Oh, it's I've so cute. Life, so cute with the uh, beautiful camo on. That's adorable. With a gun, he still manages to maintain his jovial That's smile cute and, and new attitude. And now, he's angry. <laughs> Gentlemen, we need to sell a lot of these plushes. You must buy one. They ship all over the globe, even obscure, weird places like. Michigan. Flint, Michigan. Yeah. There is no excuse. Time is running out. Yes, this there was a water crisis the there. Days. There might, there oh, still is probably one going, going on right now. For good. And if I don't sell enough, he will harm me. So please do it. There's a link in the description. Hand up. Please. Please buy. That's pretty cute. I, I mean. Anyway. If I was a fan, I would buy it. We're back. Killing them myself was rather stupid. So this time I made good use of my friend, Mr. Sun. Now, we've got bones. Bones can be made into bone meal, and bone meal into grass. Grass can be made into seeds, seeds into wheat, and wheat into bread. Wow, I mean, Gentlemen. time goes really fast in this in this world, right? Is that what I'm is that what I'm picking up with this? Like, you can plant, it will grow, and then you can harvest it like pretty much instantly. And does your character have a certain amount of years that it can live in order to do all of that? Because that would be, I mean, it's like a race against time. Food. Despite our earlier setback, we were making decent progress. So, to continue expanding our wonderful island, I went back to the plantation and cut down more trees. Ooh, it's hot in here. Well. <laughs> And we're back. Wowie okay. zowie. Two trapdoors here should make me safe. Hopefully. Why would you All put right. trapdoors there? Bread, nice oh, for the portal? Of wood. What do we do from here? Is well, that uh, where the portal will open up? Know. But this guy's one of my own. Huh? Which is cool, I guess. He had a few things to offer me, none of which I could buy because my net worth was exactly seven logs of wood. Of course, that didn't stop me from murdering his llamas and putting him in a box. Okay. Clearly, as a form of divine retribution, shortly after this, I was brutally attacked by phantoms. Oh, uh, no, no, no. This Dude, the, yeah. oh my god. I decided on our next goal, getting iron. Now, I know what you might be thinking. See, I still don't know if he's in communication with his friends. Because he started this out. This all started and he was playing with a bunch of friends of his. So, is he just out of communication with them now? Oh, oh, oh. Well, I'll tell you. I mean, I guess that the would make it realistic, right? Zombies. That's right. Zombies can drop iron, but only 0.4% of the time, which means to get enough iron for a pickaxe, we need to we kill need on average a lot of zombies. 750 zombies. Fuck. Uh. Can you just drop zombies where you need them? And that's a hilarious statement in and of itself. Uh. Now, sure, this platform does spawn zombies. Just not very many of them. Oh, there but are certain we things can fix that, that spawn them. An interesting quirk of Minecraft spawning mechanics is that the lower you go down, the higher the spawn rates. Sort of. It's a bit more complicated than that, but for our purposes, that's good enough. So optimally, we want our spawning platform to be as low as possible to maximize mob spawning. Okay, wow. so let's get down as low as possible and build a second platform. Just, um... How are you going to do that? Well, uh, um... Well, it looks like we have a bit of a problem. How do we go down? Yeah. No, seriously. How? But seriously. Do we go down? On a normal skyblock map, all you need to go down is a bucket of water. But we don't have any water or any buckets. Hmm. I sat and pondered. Hmm. And then I thought of something truly remarkable. Oh. actually worked. Using this incredible strategy, I had descended a whopping 12 blocks. Very impressive, I know. I would have loved to have gone further, but I was out of enderpearls, and enderpearls aren't exactly easy to come by. Yeah. So he was falling and building, is, it was what I'm gathering, but how was he landing on anything? It's not like he built the landing beneath him, did he? So he was just falling onto platforms that were already made down there? Did he know they were down there? I'm confused by that. 
maybe nobody shot has some flaws. Well, with that said, once again, how do we go down? This left me. Or was he just dying? Stumped. So I did some high impact going down research. How do you go down? And also, depending on where your mind's at, that could be somewhat pornographic, probably. And came across trap doors. Place two of them down like this, stand in between them, and close this one. You're now prone. Now that I'm prone, I'm short enough to place blocks on the underside of this trap door. Uh... And voila. We have descended one singular block. Now to do that, about 130 times. Jesus Christ. And here we- This game takes some freaking patience, huh? And then did he just build that platform that he's standing on right now? Yeah. That took fucking ages. My first build down here was a spider farm. Did he say Killed three spiders, hours? Get did string, I read that right? Get string into wool, and wool into bed. Ah. Sleepy time. <laughs> At the spider spawner, things were not working out how I wanted them to. This was promising though. Clearly the spawn rates down here were very, very high. How high? Well, why don't we find out? Hey, that's a lot of mobs. Wow. Ah! Wow, run. With this run, bitch, run. It doesn't make iron. Yep, that's right. I have, in fact, just wasted a bunch of my time. The only way a zombie drops his iron is if I kill him myself. Killing them myself on this platform would be suicidal. What we really need is a way to funnel the zombies to a central killing chamber. We need a mob farm. Well, that took several hours. Now, you may have a few questions like Mart. Why is it made of stairs? Or Mart, why are mobs just walking into the drop chute? Or Mart, it's been 15 years. Why is it taking you so long to get the milk? Okay, sit down. If you're currently sitting, sit down more. Have you ever noticed that mobs in Minecraft just kind of wander around? This mechanic is rather incredibly named Wandering, and it follows a very specific set of instructions. Firstly, wandering mobs need to be within 32 blocks of a player. Ah! Then, they search for a target block to wander towards. Once they pick their block, they find a path to it and walk off. But mobs can only target full blocks, like planks or logs, not stairs or slabs. <laughs> Using okay. some questionable aesthetic choices, I built the spawning platform, walls, and roof out of only stairs and slabs. When a mob spawns in, their only valid wandering target are these planks over here. With some okay. trapdoors, you can trick them into thinking there's a way across, even though there's not. <laughs> and voila! Mob farm. Once they fall down the chute, they fall 23 blocks, removing all but one point of health, so I can kill them easily with a sword. This farm does, however, have a few flaws. The main flaw being, it is horribly, painfully, terribly slow. I if I wanted to boring. farm with it, this design would simply not be sufficient. So how about we tear it down and make another one? What? Jesus, and there we Martin. Go. Mob farm version 2. Okay. Mob Farm V2 was significantly faster than Mob Farm V1. Okay. It uses my totally 100% original and not stolen design from Ilmago of YouTube channel Ilmago. It has a larger spawning area, central bait blocks, and four drop shoots. Even so, farming for iron was still very tedious. Over 400 zombies later, I got my first iron. Oh my god! And then the third, and the fourth, a little after that. And then, we had seven iron. Okay. Seven is enough for the most important item in the game. Okay. Pants, but upside down. So a cauldron. Why is a cauldron so important? Water. When it rains, cauldrons very slowly fill up with water. Problem was, it wasn't raining. Yeah. So I did my civic duty and got to it. Is that a rain dance? Oh, yes. Can you make it rain oh. with a dance? Oh. And there's no water in the cauldron. Damn oh, it. Idiot. That didn't work. Okay. Well, let's do something else. Animals. I'm amazed at the patience of this person. Block world. Animals only spawn on grass, but they can't spawn on our Sky Island grass because it's too close to zero zero, which means we gotta move it. My first attempt at relocating the grass was to try to get it to spread down the staircase naturally. Oh, this is stupid. <laughs> this is gonna take so long. This idea didn't work. 
I waited over 20 minutes and the grass had only spread a few blocks. To get down the 130 plus block staircase would take literal days. Well, how on earth are we going to do this? I could try to kill zombies for a chance at a silk toss shovel, but I'd have to kill something like 15,000 zombies. And I, I didn't want to. Hmm. Hmm. And then it hit me. Sure, I don't have Silk Touch, but I know someone who does. To get him, all I had to do was cover the mob spawning platform in boats. And gentlemen, I present to you my PS de resistance, my magnum opus, the greatest construction of all time. It's the bunch of, it's the bunch of bits. Okay, bear with me here. Once nighttime arrived, mobs began spawning on the platform, many of them spawning next to boats and immediately hopping in. Okay. Very good. Once I was satisfied I had the right guy, I sleep. I was here for this guy. So I hopped in his boat. Oh my god! That was stupid. And drove him over next to the grass. Once in position, his obnoxious block grabbing tendencies took grab, a firm hold grab, of him, compelling grab, him with grab, immense grab, power grab. to reach his arms out and pick up the grass. Now all I had to do was beat him to death with an axe. Ah! What? No! Oh no. Using this grass, I was able to build a small animal shelter at the bottom of the world. This bit of grass, while small, could produce a fair few animals down this low. In theory, anyway. In reality, it didn't do anything, but maybe I was just being impatient. So, that had taken me an hour or so, and it hadn't rained again. So, of oh course, my God. I got to it. Rain dance? This session of rain dancing. Does that actually work in this game? Nothing. Even more concerning, the grass spot still hadn't spawned a single animal. Or is he bullshitting wasn't me? Right. I checked the F3 menu, and what do you know? This exact spot was in an ocean. This is my face when biome ocean. Animals uh, can't spawn in oceans. Nope. Well, some animals back up to the probably top, can. Got another Enderman in a boat, positioned him appropriately. He Not the animals thing. he's looking Packed to spawn, I ants, take it. Scooped up the grass again and moved it over here into a not ocean biome. And a few minutes later. Cole. And with that. So if it's in the sky, how is it an ocean biome? I'm clearly not understanding something, but again, nobody's surprised by that. Um, sorry for all my dumb questions. It's just like not understanding how that's possible. Back to it. Brothers and sisters, gather for our Lord. Plead for his precipitation. Oh Lord, deliver upon us your wet love. Rain, I ask of you. Rain! Seeing as it still wasn't raining, I killed some more time with another silly project. It involved a lot of wood and fences and boats. And it was constructed like this. <laughs> You've got to know a lot about how this game works to it's an elevator. be at this level, right? This isn't just something that somebody who's played a few times knows how to do. Is that accurate? Like, because I mean, it seems like he just has a, a very high baseline and knowledge of this game in general to be able to come up with how to strategize all of these things. Oh, yes. I mean, obviously I know nothing about the game, but slime block. Now, you got to be playing remember, for a while, right? To All of this progress is lost. Look at so that. It might be a good idea to think twice about so any fucking up. work. Splat. Just just After all that, it still wasn't raining. So Back to it. Thirsty. Still no rain, huh? Yeah. <laughs> He's you know flossing. Me, I love it. Funky dance isn't going to help. No, and clearly I might as well not. Prepare for when it does rain and make some more cauldrons. Oh my god, it's raining. Just like that. Just like that, it starts raining. Oh, what do you go? What do you go? What do you go? Amazingly. Huzzah! It actually rained. Now all I had to do was wait even more for the cauldrons to fill. So really, nothing changed. While waiting, I murdered even more mobs and collected even more iron. 
This continued for a very long time. Well, I mean, I what else are you going to do while the, rain, you know, I pass the time? The cauldrons didn't fill. It stopped raining. I killed more mobs. I got more iron. Why didn't the, the cauldrons, cauldrons fill? I know that he said that it's slow, repeat. but it I mean, not at all. Ages, but we did get there eventually. The three cauldrons had collected enough water for one source, allowing me to craft a bucket and scoop it up. Oh, yeah. Once I did that, I used a glass bottle to fill the cauldron again. And finally, infinite water. Like any good respecter of a chill time on the lake, my first project with this new water was a fishing boat. Priorities, yeah. people. We fishing. Okay, we've got our water. Next up, pigs. So why do we need pigs? Well, they're for our next big goal. Villagers. To get villagers, Ooh. we need three things. A couple of zombie villagers, a golden apple. That tastes like Minecraft. And a weakness potion. <laughs> mm. I converted one of the shoots on the mob farm to this, which is just a really jank way of picking out specific mobs. Using it, I collected a couple of zombie villagers and stuck them in boats. Eh. Fucking stupid. And I also collected a witch. You see, there's currently no way I can get my hands on a weakness potion. But if I make a witch angry, perhaps by, I don't know, punching them in the head, it's they see, have a chance of throwing one. Like this and is, lastly, I mean, having that head. knowledge. Originally, I thought this would be easy. Is probably so massively advantageous when playing this game, them. right? A lot of them. Like knowing that when you kill a zombie, you have a Turns four point they, percent uh, chance of getting iron. Like and that's for several years. incredibly helpful piece anyway, of knowledge. Where do you learn that? They drop copper. Hmm. And this is where we go back to those pigs. During this whole process, I had been breeding a It's so hot here that every time I see that pixelated sun, like it's hot in, my, in this studio. Um, every time I see that pixelated sun that like I can almost, my nose is itching a whole time. Uh, I can almost like feel the increased heat even though it's totally fake. It's kind a of lot funny. of pigs. So many pigs that they were starting to suffocate and die when I fed them. Perfect. Using some of the copper I'd collected from Killing Drowned, I made this. A lightning rod. Now all I had to do was wait for it to rain. So of course... Rain dance. I got to it. Who is that? And while doing some nice relaxing fishing, it happened. I mean, he's got... Uh... Oh, yeah. These piglins had dropped a grand total of the dictator of China's of gold. hair. Not enough for our golden apples, so of course. But the I did it again. not face, and definitely there we have it, boys. not face. Enough gold Xi for two golden apples. Name? Villagers, here we come. Apples, apples, apples. Hello. I checked literally every single chest I had. No apples. Yep. So how do the chests manifest, right? Because the name of this is how do you beat Skyblock without the start chest? Clearly he has chests now. Do the chests yield some sort of prize? How do they show up? Why do they show up? Okay, that's it. That, that's what's there. That's right. Acacia trees don't drop apples. Oh my fucking... Bruh, how fucking... Wow. Well, this fucking sucks. There was a path forward. I needed someone special. I needed the wares of an elusive man. I needed a wandering trader. Remember the very start of the run when I trapped a wandering trader in a box? Well, he despawned long ago, but he sold saplings. Not the right saplings, but saplings nonetheless. To get a wandering trader to spawn in, I could just wait around the base like normal. But most of the base is made of bottom slabs, so the actual area he can spawn on is very small. Hmm. Instead, I decided on constructing a purpose-built platform for spawning traders. For spawning? To okay. It, I drafted up some high-quality blueprints, which called the building set platform way up in the sky for some reason. So I built the boat elevator up as high as I could and began work on the platform. Wow. And would you look at that? The platform's done. There's only one issue with this platform. Oh my goodness. Can you guess what it is? Yes, that's right. All of these slabs are bottom slabs. So, uh, it doesn't work. Oh my fucking... Once I'd actually made it spawnable, I built a small hut in the middle of the platform and stuck a bed inside. 
This is where I would hang out for the next several hours. Oh my just God. waiting around for our trader man to spawn. Wow. One night, I forgot to sleep before mobs started spawning wow. in and came back to my PC only to be greeted with this. So I did what anyone would, Whoa. sprinted to the edge of the platform and... Uh, jumped? Jumped off. Oh shit. Oh shit. No, no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Oh. My god. Bruh. So of course, more waiting. But I got lucky. Oh. Only after about 15 minutes, a trader spawned in. And even better, he was selling an oak sapling. Perfect. There's a problem though. I would have bought the sapling. But I had no money. If I had any emeralds. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Oh my I mean, that is yep. a predicament. That's right. Come on, dude. I had, in fact, forgotten that traders need emeralds. Wow. Wow. Man. That's a huge. That's a huge uh, overlook, so man. This presented us with another conundrum. Especially after all How that work. The fuck? Do Are you get gonna it? get emeralds? Well, I scoured the wiki. Trading. Turn of villagers, mining. Yep, can't do that. Natural generation like uh, chest loot. Yep, can't do that. And finally, mob drops. Certain pillagers drop emeralds on death. Well, that looks like a pretty easy option. The only problem is these pillagers don't spawn naturally. They only spawn in raids. And to get a raid, you guessed it, we need villagers. This left me completely stumped for about 10 seconds, which is when I read the rest of the wiki and learned about foxes. Foxes have a 20% chance to spawn with an item in their mouth, and 5% of the time, that item is an emerald. Wow. Uh, doing wow. some extreme ultra mathematics, we wow. can figure out that on average, that every necessary? 100 foxes will yield one single emerald. Hmm. Okay. I think we have a new project. First of all, I had to find the closest biome where foxes can spawn. Uh. Aha. Yes. This spot was over 2,000 blocks away, and to get there, I'd have to build a bridge. So I got myself a lot of logs, made some slabs, and started the journey. And I'm here. Well, that was extremely boring. Once on location, I began construction. Firstly, just a small platform as a proof of concept, and like everything else in this fucking playthrough, naturally, it didn't work. I sat there for ages, and nothing spawned. Except for like 15,000 mobs. Oh my god. Of course. I would work the first time. That would be ridiculous. It just has to drive me insane. It just. <laughs> Later, I did manage to get it to work though. The fix? Well, all I had to do was go back to base and murder all my livestock. Oh my god. Yep. Why? I don't know. It was something to do with passive mob caps and spawn chunks and some. I don't fucking know. Back at the fox spawning platform, the unthinkable happened. It actually worked. Fox. Really? Fox. Fuck! Oh my god! The plan was to use this platform to spawn foxes and then I'd stab them to death and collect their drops. Okay, yeah, yeah, Probably yeah. This approach was this. Are they falling uh, over the edge and not- foxes. Yeah, sure, they could spawn, but clearly they didn't like to very much. Uh. I think, uh, I think I should make a farm. Here's a useful concept. Foxes are attracted to chickens. They that makes sense. At high speed and kill them with their face. But what if we put the chicken over here? And then, some trapdoors here. <laughs> this is the concept we're going to use for- But how does the, does the emerald, emerald pop up? ...towards the chicken, fall into a water stream, and drop them to their death. So, oh. let's build the farm. I see. I want it like I would love to see like a ticker at the bottom of this video of like how many hours it's taking him to do this because I have no concept of that. But this seems like so much fucking work. With the farm built, it started working almost immediately. Of course, you wouldn't be able to tell because it was still a very slow piece of shit. I couldn't even automate it properly since I had nowhere near enough iron for a hopper grid, so I just sort of stood there, underneath it, and waited. And waited. And wait. Wait a minute. What is it? Oh my. Oh my oh god. Oh no. What's going oh on with god. this pigs? Oh my god. Holy shit. It's raining pigs. Hallelujah. It's 
It's raining it's pigs. Had finally done it. Oh my god. You're welcome. God. And accumulated our five emeralds needed for a sapling. Uh, apples. But I thought it was the. Oh my god. I'm so. I. I just assume that I sound like an idiot when I watch these videos. But I thought it was the wolves that spawned the emeralds and not pigs. Here we come. So I went back home and waited even longer at the Wandering Trader platform. This time, I wasn't so lucky. Hours upon hours of nothing. Then a trader, I'd check his trades. They were shit. I would murder him in cold blood. Uh, Rinse and repeat. Uh, 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 uh. This, uh, Why do you really, have to murder them? Really sucked. Many. I mean, many I guess so that you can tell them apart. Heard, selling us one of the two types of saplings that can drop apples. A dark oak sapling. I could barely contain my excitement. Holy shit. Hours upon hours of work. Does he have enough? And it was finally here. I bought the sapling, placed it down, and bone mealed it. And bone mealed it. And bone mealed it. What? You get nothing! What? What? Yes. What, what, what? Right. Dark oak trees need four saplings in order to grow. Fuck. We Jesus one. Christ. Just <sighs> there we go. Uh -huh. Huh. Wow. Oh. Apples. Oh my god. Apples. Yes. 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 We had finally acquired the missing piece. And so, of course, villager time. To begin villager time, I brought back the witch that I had banished to the naughty corner long ago, and with a lot of finagling, managed to get her to chuck a weakness potion onto the zombies. Yes. Uh, this was after it poisoned me several times, the fucking dickhead. Then I force fed them the apples, drove the wish back well, into the naughty corner. Play with for fire, right? Safekeeping, I guess. And waited. Excuse me. Yeah. And there we go. I had finally done it. Yippee! Their new home was the old pig pen, where I placed down a few beds and threw bread at them until they. Until they. Oh. Whoa. 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 Oh my, Whoa. oh my god. It's it's a it's a fully clothed child. Curious. Wow. Now, to get more emeralds. The easiest method I could think of was to employ them as farmers and sell them carrots. So I employed them as farmers, gave myself carpal tunnel by farming carrots, and sold them to the villagers for great riches. Back at the watering trader platform, I uh waited even more. And when the wandering shaders did appear, I bought whatever I could. Anything and everything. Coral blocks? Fuck it, I'll take some. Dirt? Yes, please. Cactus? Don't mind if I do. Sugarcane? Yes. During this process, I had also begun work on the next farm. An iron farm. This farm works by scaring the villagers here periodically with the presence of this zombie. Then, this trapdoor closes, they forget about him and go back to sleep, and five seconds later the trapdoor opens again, sending them in a frenzy, sprinting in every direction at once, and spawning in a golem for their protection. The golem spawns up here, falls into this water stream, and into this chute where he is killed by cramming, which is Jesus he's Christ! Out. My favourite part of this farm, however, is the boat clock. This you is see, a lot to think about. How the hell do you so do to this? Clock, I built a small track, filled it with water, and stuck a boat inside it. When this boat passes over these pressure plates, it activates them and triggers the trapdoor. Simply phenomenal. Next, Indeed. a trading hall. So I built a trading hall. Filling it with villagers was tedious and painful, but once it was full, I could start cycling through all the various trades for my villagers. It uh, took forever, like legitimately fucking ages to spend removing their workstation, waiting a second, putting it back down, checking their trade, seeing that their trades are complete ass, removing the workstation. Yeah, with these books, I enchanted some swag gear. I got some diamond tools, I made myself some armor. Finally, things were going well. And for our next project, we'd acquire some lava. So, okay. first things first for acquiring some lava, I need to kill some pillagers. 
Don't worry. Now, when you start a game, do you set up like the parameters of what has you winning and losing, or is there is there a goal that everybody sets out to achieve? Right. So he's like, okay, the next project is going to be this. Is it the game that leads you into those projects? Like, does the game say, okay, now this is what you need to do to ultimately win. Right. And then he goes and does that thing. Or is he, is he creating his own, his own destiny, if you will. Well, my sense using my, uh, 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 I found myself the bounding box for a pillager outpost. I can't Building help you. a spawn platform I'm here. I'm filling in the words. Pillagers spawning. So I built a spawn platform here, and pillagers began spawning. I was looking for a banner carrier. Killing a banner carrier will give you the bad omen effect. The only problem is actually killing one without shooting it off the platform. Once I had the bad omen effect, I went back to base and to this little setup that I'd built earlier. Okay. This villager and bed combo is all you need to start a raid, and raiders only spawn on full blocks. So with okay. the rest of the platform made from half slabs, I had a safe area to attack from, and an unsafe area that they'd spawn on. And so, okay. the raid began. Here we go, Michael Bay. <laughs> Using my librarians, I had made the <laughs> most ridiculous bow emeralds can buy, which made quick work of each wave. I had, uh, a little difficulty, but ultimately was victorious. Beating a raid gives you the hero of the village effect, and with the hero of the village effect, trades with villagers become significantly cheaper, and villagers give you gifts. What does this have to do with lava? Okay, so that kind of answers my question. Now I'm starting to see that the game creates the, uh, the intention, and then you fulfill on it, and okay. Toolsmiths. You see, I've been lying to you. You can't actually beat ready? Minecraft with one tree, but you can get up to here. So here is where a little mod comes in. Okay. All the mod does is change the loot table from Toolsmith villages when they drop gifts. Normally, all they do is fill your inventory with useless shit tools, but with this mod, they have a very small chance of dropping lava buckets. Oh, my God. oh there it is. Finally, after all these hours, Look at this. we could make a cobblestone generator. Okay. Yeah. To get myself more lava, I constructed a lava farm. This was great. Except I forgot one small detail. Lava uh, lights things on fire. Okay. Well, that okay. That's why I thought he With was using time, that material. Had produced lava. Ooh. You know, like it's supposed to. It had made enough lava, in fact, for a portal. And so begins our adventures. In the nether. Wow. 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 So, what were we doing in the nether? Well, all I needed from the nether were blaze rods. Which meant I had to find a nether fortress bounding box and build a yet another spawning platform. So I did exactly that. In fact, I was pretty lucky. The nether fortress bounding box was right there. It was really easy. Like, almost too easy. I shot a few blazers with my bow, and in a few minutes, that was it. I had all the blazer rods. And so ends our adventures in the nether. Ah, Holy okay. shit. The day of reckoning was fast approaching. The ender eyes were made. Before going in, I wanted to be prepared. Better. I leveled up my tool smiths. My weapon smiths. I was going to say, make sure that you have everything you need. You can't have this like it happened like it did with the emerald situation. My armor is. I got the most ridiculous set of armor, the most ridiculous bow, and the most ridiculous sword. And then is he going to join his friends? Okay, I'll stop asking. I'll stop asking. I collected a bunch of wood for blocks. I'm just curious where I his friends all went. All my villagers' beds. I threw the first eye, and the search began. Mm. A thousand or so blocks later of just doing this, Fuck. there it was. I said my goodbyes to this terrible place I had called home for the last several weeks, opened the portal, several and jumped weeks. inside. The end, like the rest of the world, was a cold, desolate void. Just me, the small platform of obsidian, the bedrock portal, and the dragon. And so, the fight was on.
Looks like he's doing okay. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what any of it actually looks like, but I mean, the dragon's turning red when he's yes shooting things at it. There you go. There you go. Oh, there you go. Oi. What? What? Ah, shit. Is he starting over again? What the hell? I thought he defeated the dragon. Hit his ass. So it seems like he's back with his friends now, right? Although I'm not recognizing any of these guys' names. I don't yes. know if I would. Let's fucking go! Can I kill Steven? No, 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 no! No, 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 no. We did it. We beat the game. And I'm sure many of you will be pleased to hear this. We beat up Steven. And Tristan. Tristan probably needs to get his ass kicked too, right? So, thanks for watching. Buy the frog from the link in the pinned comment. The frog's very cute. You and should buy it. Time. Okay. Well, would you look at that? I am quite... I, you know, is it, is it something I ought to be impressed by? Like, I, I'm impressed by the knowledge of the game, what you need. I mean, I guess he looked up a bunch of shit too. It just takes so much patience. Like, in, a, in an actual sense of, like, real curiosity, I guess. Maybe that's what I'm amazed by. Also, it's like, you got to want to figure this shit out. Um, I, in large part, you know, like, in my experience of playing video games, so much, so much, like, half the battle is really just being curious um, about your surroundings, what there is to find, the clues that you need to pick up. And so I just feel like that's what a lot of that was. And that's a lot of bandwidth for someone like me. I'll admit it. Like, no shame. No shame at all over here. I just, I don't think I have that level of patience and curiosity. And so, um, way to go, Martin. Uh, I like what you're doing here, brother. Um, and great work. Great job. That was a crazy, like, almost like a city in the sky. Um, cool. So, Thank you all for um, experiencing that with yours truly. Um, I did enjoy it. And make sure to like, share, comment. Definitely comment. There were lots of questions. Feel free to answer them. Um, and subscribe. I do try to make it over to the comments threads um, uh, to read uh, what y'all say. So um, I would love to hear it. And then a special thanks to our patrons. Yeah. Y'all are the ones who keep the lights on and the AC on. It was only, it's only hot when I first get in here and, and start the video making. So starting to cool down now. Thank goodness. It's like 95 degrees outside in Chicago, which is bonkers. Um, don't love it. Don't love it. So, um, so thank you, patrons, for that. And here's a list of y'all's names as a special thank you. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.